Uh, hello everyone, I am Azur Abadman. My hair is kind of messy. Um, welcome to my channel. <laughs> um, today I will be talking about um, mythos <laughs> of my fanfiction. Sure, that's cringe. I know it's cringe. And the fact that I acknowledge it's cringe, it is therefore based. So, what are Vesem? It's spelled W-E-S-E-N, but it's pronounced Vesem. It is from the TV show, um, it is from the TV show Grimm, and I've always loved how the mythology of it all came to be. Now, Vesem, or German meaning a being or sentient creature, are a subrace of metahumans and are a sub subtype of dominant species endemic in many universes of Maharlika Prime. Vesen is a collective term for creatures that Grimms hunt. They are a race of parahumans that can transform or vogue, vogue, meaning a powerful wave of water, into anthropomorphic animal humanoids that have become known in folklore as cryptids which is what they are called in the Philippines, majority or the Philippines in the series. Majority of Vesen are mutants, but some are inhumans and even mutates. Older beings such as the Lich call them mass users for a reason. Description Vesen are a subspecies of hominids known as Homo cryptidor sapien. It was stated before that Vesen will be replacing humans in the next 1,000 years along with other metas and seers. They are a race of hominids who can morph into different animal species via an ability called Vogen. There are many types of Vesen in the world. It was stated to us by the Ibarra Diaries that Vesen were actually created by an alien race of Niburuans, at least in this continuity, who are basically... How do you say this? Uh, oh, they argued against God, their leader and soon-to-be God all of all worlds. That humans are not the pinnacle of evolution and can in fact evolve further. And tasked the Forticites to do such experiments. So, this guy is basically the high evolutionary from Guardians 3. And... They are the ones behind the Forbidden Apple and the creation of Supernaturals, <laughs> aka Vesen and the Humans. Thus, God created Seers to keep them in line. Vesen are actually animals and Enyad spliced with human genome, given, giving each of the human forms and animal forms. Post prehistoric animals themselves are created from the Enyad gene, though their human forms are made much more dominant. And therefore, they can reproduce with humans as their original animal genes, only becoming a dominant or recessive gene depending on the species. Their behavior depends on the vogue form. If they choose to use human form more, they turn more human-like. If they choose to use animal form more, they become more animalistic and wide, gaining the mental disorder or mental uh, differently abled attribute. I'm kidding. They have three vogues, Ersta Vogue, which is the first vogue, which is only seen by seers, stand users, and other psychics. Vare Vogue, or full vogue, seen by everyone, and Uber Vogue, which is the full-on animal-like transformation. Tra they transform into an animal that is seen by everyone. As an animal, the Vesen can develop close relationships with the same kind as their animal form. Vesen had come from the German word for being or creature. The term was coined in Germany by the brothers Grimm, Wilhelm, and Jacob, who had been studying Vesen and had been translating their encounters with the Vesen through children's fairy tales. The, world, the word Vesen, or cryptid, comes from the Spanish word for aswangs, cryptido, which comes from the Greek word cryptos, cryptid, or cryptid in Tagalog. Is the coined term in the Philippines for all Vesen and later on by the entire continent of Asia. According to the studies and experiences of Miguel Jojo, chimeras usually go, go along with their parents more often. 
By the way, this is uh, the section genetics and tribes. However, children with two types of parents often connect more with their parents who are the same type as they are. Also, it is observed that parents' children who are the same type of them are opposite sex to them. This is likely evol evolved to avoid suspicion from normal humans as a young boy having an Electra complex or a young girl with an Oedipus complex would be strange in the old times. It was also observed that Vesen and Grimm's mate with humans or different type of Vesen or Grimm's may gain Vogaitis instead of becoming a Vorherrscher. Such, I am botching these words, <laughs> such a Vesen will gain an incomplete Vogue or a hybrid Vogue. Chimeras or Vorherrschers are hybrids that are two or more different types of Vesen, series or both. Rare Vesen are known to have recessive genes and abundant Vesen have dominant genes. They also re reproduce in two ways. One is lycanthrop through lycanthropy, which is a virus that passes down a primal state. And the other one is by reproduction, sexual reproduction. Then there are Schwarz organs, which are just Vesen black eyes. Basically, they're a hybrid between a Grimm and a Vesen. A Grimm basically is a super soldier, this super soldier guy who, whose eyes turn black, which allows them to see the true forms of Vesen and interact with stands or whatever in my, my continuity. This makes them very dangerous and imagine a Vesen, Vesen Schwarz, Schwarzogen. These guys are terrifying. <laughs> Because not only are they enhanced super soldiers with the ability to interact with stands, but they're also basically lower tier wolverines without the metal bones. And then there are vampiric aswangs, which is basically the royal vessel in this universe. They are supposed to be, um, how do you call this? They're supposed. They were supposed to be the the Filipino vampire, but it was retconned that they are not vampires. Instead, they are, um, how do you call this? They were essentially the um, false vampires. It's like how some, there are true moles in, in phylogeny, and there are false moles, like the marsupial mole or whatever. Something like that. So history. According to the Grim TV series, basically they were worshipped as gods at some point. Because of the Enyad, you know. And basically they eventually became feared by humanity because they were different. Because And this caused this whole racism thing in the books, in the series. I know it's annoying. I'm always political with the series, but yeah, it's okay. It's a good series in my opinion. But in the end, uh, whatever, it's fine. So yeah, those are Vesen. Vesen are basically artificially evolved by the gods or the pantheon or the Niburu ones or whatever you want to call them. They were created by Adonael and the Forticites, who also used the DNA to guide or artificially evolve Earth's animal species. They did this by killing the dinosaurs. And eventually, Adonael eventually experimented on mammals, eventually creating humans. So Adonael, what is he? Um, he's um, the past version of God in my universe. He created earth by working with the high evolutionary but eventually he ended up dying and resurrecting and becoming the one above all which is basically god in this universe and basically he's the most powerful being in the series i won't fight him with other characters in other fiction because i don't care for that <laughs> but yeah Okay, moving on. So that's Vesen. 
Um, now I'm going to talk about Grimms. Remember, I was going to talk about the mythos. So now I'm going to talk about Grimms. Or let's start with Seer. Okay, what is Seer? Well, that's the thing. The Seer is a metahuman mutant. Most of them are mutants. But unlike regular mutants, they were so specious, they speciated away from uh, mutants. But they can't. They didn't evolve from the clade. They're still mutants. It's just that they're so specious that they're an entirely different. They're considered as an entirely different race themselves. They are not naturally evolved. They are known as Homo superior revelarus. They are. They were evolved by Adonael. Uh, primarily Adonael, not the high evolutionary. Because he saw that his best creation, humans, were being attacked by the Vesson. So he created the Seers in order to guide humanity once more. So they're basically bodyguards, human, the bodyguards of humans. They were, they're the original super soldiers in this universe. And basically, these Seers, these uh, Seers are basically like, um, they're protectors. They're, they police Vesson. And stand users and any other creature that threatens humanity, like vampires. They can see metahuman powers, rock humans, alien true forms, aliens, invisible creatures, spirit stands, and spirits. All seers have the capability of spiritual awareness, and that ability is not counted as a stand ability. It's a mutation, which makes them dangerous. Even though they're mutants, they have a spiritual energy similar to espers or psychics like Professor X or Jean Grey. So sorry for that. Um, Time it out. Okay, so th the first is the esper, right? So it's a psychic. That's it. The second is the prophet. So basically a prophet is this creature that has the ability to... Um, see the future. They can see the future by um. How do you call this? They can see the future by. Um, it's kind of like King Crimson, where they see they could see ten seconds of the future, but also have visions of the future. In my series, the Batman is a prophet, a prophet of doom, and so is Spider Man because of his um, spider sense. Batman, meanwhile, his way of um, anticipating events, it, it was uh, hinted back then from Batman vs. Superman, which is canon in my book, wherein he saw the future and that Superman was evil. Well, that's the thing. That was one of the timelines that happens in the future. And that's the explanation of why I chose for him to become a prophet of doom. And then there's the, of course... Everyone's favorite, the Ghost Rider. <laughs> but seriously, um, yeah, the Ghost Rider is the thing. It's the avatar of the devil. And then there's the avatar, which is the avatar of a god. Or god. And finally, there's the Grim. So, the third type and most dangerous type of seer is the Grim. This is known as Homo Superior Revelarus, the Capitar. Grims have black eyes when they see Erstavogs and in invisible beings from the human eye. Grims have an average between 210 centimeters and 250 centimeters tall and are incredibly bulky, which is why the Joestar family are seen as one of the shortest and physically weakest Grims in the world due to their slender and short bodies. Yes, the Joestars are weak Grims in my universe. Basically, they're these huge dudes that are super soldiers and that's cool in my eyes at least in my opinion they hunt Vesson they prefer decapitation and now we're gonna talk about the Grimms um so Grimms they're the central species in this series not the humans the humans are just they're they're protected though they're protected by the Grimms they're the purpose of the Grimms 
they are like um this type of seer that uniquely has the ability to see supernatural things they have a fourth cone in their eye that's it that's their only power i'm kidding they have more powers they're strong they're immune from um poison and sickness and they have a very slow healing factor similar to probably captain america's healing factor probably Grims are shown to be able to interact with the Force, which is interesting, from the Jedi. You can see the Force as these kind of powerful vines that connect to every living thing. Kind of familiar, right? And to those JoJo's fans out there, yeah, that's very familiar. And then there are Grims who were originally... The Grims were originally called Judges or Shuffets by the older beings, such as the Lich again. Because the Lich is a cosmic being, the yeah the Lich from Adventure Time is here and he is terrifying. He fused with William Afton one time and then there was this whole arc where he was called Lich Trap and he became this terrifying creature, basically, basically that you know killed a bunch of kids or genocided a bunch of kids. Yeah, at some point. It's also worth noting that Zvegs, the Grim that has no abilities, is still a is still a Grim, but is considered a human because they don't have abilities. A Zverg is basically the child of a Grim and a human who does not gain any abilities because the their gene their their X gene remains dormant. The descendant from the original Grim, this was according to legend, but in reality, no. According to a Filipino document in the series, which happened about 3,000 years ago because the Filipinos are overpowered in my series. Not being racist here. I'm just saying that this is a fictional race of Filipinos. This is like an alternate version of the Philippines, you know? They're like the Wakandans in this world. <laughs> um, all this document to date originated from the 12 original Grimms. The 12 judges from Israel. Um, they descended from the Israelites and a few of their birthmarks include the star, Joe Star, the heart, Zeppeli, the Davidic star, the sun, the crescent, the eye of God, the cross, the spade, the diamond, the ring, the club, and the arrow. These Grims were originally named Shophets and were feared for around a thousand years. After 500 years of protecting Israel, Grims have become much more advanced in technology. They left. And eventually ended up in the Star Wars multiverse. <laughs> Those are the to hold the, the space judge, which is a very uh, a subtype of Grim. They're not really a different race. They're still Grims. They just have a different religion altogether. The second name of the Grims was the Decapitar or the one that decapitates. They eventually evolved to like learn the to like they they, they evolved to like um. Hunt and kill use uh, by attacking the most vital areas of the body, neck, arteries, brain, of course. So the the they always prefer decapitation because it's the quickest way to kill an enemy. Not the least, the more the most humane, the quickest way to kill them for them, and because they're, I don't know, they just like decapitation. Also, they have a thing with trophies. They, they sometimes trophy the Vesson, which is messed up. And then there, there came a time where apparently f from the seven royal families, a bunch of Grimms in the Crusaders, they, uh, they ransacked Constantinople and stole Shoop or the Stake of Moses. The Brothers Grimm was well known by the Western societies a pair of Grimm's that documented a group of legends written in code to scare off humans and not mess with the supernatural world. The Grimm's would be the protectors of society from the corrupt Vesson. That's where the series starts. Part 3 starts with um the Reaper. He becomes a vigilante who hunts down Vesson. But his adventure does not focus on his vigilantism like the original old universe books. It focuses on his crusade to um, crusade to find the Ark of the Covenant, right? Yeah, if Araki always forgets, I forget way more because I've written 800 chapters. 
I'm kidding. He probably wrote more. <laughs> I'm not good enough. I'm joking. Anyway, um, yeah, those are the judges, and those are the grooms. And then, of course, you've heard this the hybrid. Remember, the Schwarz Ogen. Um, yeah. And then there are capabilities. They have superhuman abilities. And wait, I'll check for the door. By the way, I'm in a hotel room. <laughs> cool, right? Um, yeah, I, I'm currently vacationing. And, uh, this is not uh, to sponsor. This is not sponsored by the hotel, by the way. Uh, whatever. Who cares? Mm, it's a good it's a good place to I really recommend it and then there are grims yeah grims stand users wizards and yeah pretty cool what else uh then there's better you should uh, i don't want to talk about that oh here 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 are the types of grims they are not races they are more like Culture or religion for them. The Decapitar, the Stardust Crusader. Common type of Grim, meant to protect humanity. Modern Judge. The Space Shuffet. They are kind of like Mandalorians, kind of. But they are stronger, quicker, and more stubborn than Mandalorians. The Endless Icon. There's just serial killers. <laughs> They're weird culty serial killers and finally the crusader. They are known to act as lackeys of the royal family. Not Stardust Crusader. Stardust Crusader is different, the Decapitar. They are more of a bringer of hope. Well the Crusader is meant to be a bringer of chaos. Not chaos. Like bringer of order in the Vesson world in the eyes of the royals. The royals have nothing to do in the series because they're dead now. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's it. Then there's the star, the Joe star, Zeppelis the heart, the sun, the Burkharts, David, the Davidic star, the Mistas, and the eyes of Providence, the Wittabames, William Afton's family. And that's it. Thank you for listening. Those are where the Vesen and Grimms come from in my continuity. Remember, this is not canon in the series, the main series. You, this is my head canon. And it's okay because I've written a whole series about it. I'm gonna make a cinematic universe one day. And I will destroy. I'm kidding. Don't worry about it. I'm not crazy. <laughs>